Hi everyone. So how do we graph polynomial functions? Well, you better know how to graph constant, linear, and quadratic functions. We've covered those. Also, some important points, intercepts. Y-intercepts are easier to find, plug in x equals zero, but for x-intercepts, you have to find the real zeros of the function. That could be harder. That involves solving an equation. Symmetry. If the function is even or odd, you may be able to exploit symmetry. The zoom out dominance property. Look at that leading term. Based on the leading term, do you know what kind of snake or bowl you're getting? And you can determine long run behavior. Where is the function positive versus negative in value? So for example, let's say they are graphing something like this. You know that the leading term is x cubed, that means you have a rising snake. That means that you have to be negative in y coordinate way out here, you have to be positive in y coordinate way out here if you're going to have a rising snake, a polynomial rising snake. If you know the factorization, then you can really know what's going on. The real zeros correspond to the x-intercepts. We see here they're four negative one. And these are the only places where the function can change sign. Remember, a polynomial function can only change sign at its zeros, corresponding to the x-intercepts. But does it have to change sign? Not necessarily, because the graph can bounce. So, the, so a polynomial function can only change sign, but doesn't have to, can, but doesn't have to, <laughs> change sign at the x-intercepts or the real zeros. If the multiplicity is odd, then the graph cuts like a snake and the function value, the y-coordinate, changes the sign here from negative to positive. If the multiplicity is even, then the graph bounces like a bowl off the x-axis and we stay from positive to positive with zero in the middle. So if you know what the leading term is, and if you know the complete factorization over the reals, then you should be able to know where the function is positive versus negative. And of course, it's zero at the real zeros, the x-intercepts. When in doubt, there's point plotting as a last resort. And by the way, what is the range of any odd degree polynomial function? If you have third degree, fifth degree, seventh degree, or first degree, What's the range? It's going to be all reals. You pick up all real values as y coordinates. Can an even degree polynomial function have the same range? No, there has to be some sort of extreme point. In the long run, it's a bowl. There has to be some sort of extreme point. That's all for now.